Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, T70, for you guys, uh, Forza 7 video. And uh, this video is just going to be short and sweet, but I just want to talk to you guys about, you know, the new wheel settings that are out um, and maybe some issues that some people are having with getting sideways on this game. So Forza has added some new, um, some new features onto the wheel. I'm going to just quickly go into the wheel settings here and show you what I have. Um, but I've been playing around with the numbers, and I think I have a somewhat acceptable solution for this for these wheel settings. So, uh, one thing I do notice that the one one new difference I see in the uh, settings is this thing: road field scale, field scale, right? The scale of uh, this scales higher frequency load inputs which come from the road surface and bumps. I've never seen that, that setting before, and the pneumatic trail I've never seen, and the mechanical trail I've never seen. Um, to be completely honest with you, I don't know what any of these, these new things do, to be honest, but it's adding a new layer of feel to the game, to the wheel settings. I, 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 don't, I don't know, it's just, it's really different. But one thing I will, that still does work and you know uh to keep in mind if you guys i know that maybe everybody's wheel settings probably got reset but i'm just gonna start off with something basic um so what i have right now and what people should be doing is for one don't care about the vibration scale you don't need it all right vibration It'll just kind of mess you up in the long run because your wheel is just shaking, jittering, and it's just it'll get you out of control if you're if you have it high. So my vibration scale is at ten. I have a little bit, you know, just have a, like a one percent feel to it, but I don't have it at fifty. I don't have it at hundred. I don't need it. Right. Just a little tip: uh, aligning torque scale is your force feedback for when you're drifting. So it will auto steer for you. Oh really? I have mine set to hundred. Yeah, my mine yeah, set. Yeah, mine set to hundred as well. So all right, that's good. That's good to know. Set that to hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So Deified says says that to 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 possibly set that to two hundred. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at a hundred just for the, just for the sake of demonstration for right now because I just want to show you guys a few things. Uh, I'll move on to uh, wheel dampener scale. You want to keep these things low. You don't need you don't need these to be high. Uh, I mean, you know, in real life, the wheel is not a heavy. I mean, it depends on it depends on what kind of power steering you have in a car, right? But I mean, you don't want to have this high because you don't want to feel like you're trying to turn a house. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're in a muscle car and yeah, it's supposed to be heavy, but there has to be some kind of. You don't want to feel like. Yeah. You don't want to feel like you're driving a fucking Kenworth. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't, you don't want to feel like you're, you're driving a 10 ton thing. You don't want that. So keep these things lower because if you do, you're going to be a lot quicker to react when you counter steer when you get sideways, right? To put it that way. You're going to be able to react, react a lot faster, a lot smoother with these things being low. So keep these guys respectively around the same. I have it at 40, 30, just in the trial and error here you know, to see how it feels. And so far it works uh, for the most part. Um, the next thing I want to go on to talking about is the wheel rotation angle. I know a lot of the big guys out there want to drive and um, go onto 900 degree rotation. Uh, but for those, yeah, for those who are just learning how to do, how to actually uh, get the feel of the wheel, um, I would keep this down to 600 to 700 to maybe even 800 scale. Right until you're completely ready to get to 900. Right, so I wouldn't. I got I, mine set to uh, 840. Mm. Yeah, so so keep keep it keep it low. Don't push to 900. Don't overdo yourself. Uh, on Forza Horizon 3, I can do 900. Um, Forza Horizon 4, I can't do it. Forza 7, it's a bit of a work in progress for me. Uh, until I can find some more, uh, until I can get uh, maybe more practice at this, uh, I'm leaving it at 620. But I mean, I could try it right now. I could try 900 if you guys really want me to. I'll, I'll throw it 900. Why not? But I can tell you that it's just going to be a lot different and it's not going to be the same. But because I'm so used to lower scale numbers. But 
Yeah, you could just press the Xbox button and then got out oh. the Xbox menu and then so you didn't have to. <laughs> Oh no! So this is good too because right now I'm just I'm showing them all the numbers and all the scale, all the all the percents, right? Uh, another thing I'm gonna go back to the top here. Uh, steering access dead zone. This is also something you should play with a little bit. I typically lower it a little bit so that I don't have to like I have very small movements. You know, like it's not like a big thing where because uh, I if you think about it on the analog stick, you're you are turning the car and you're turning the analog stick very rapidly, right? So you want to have respectively kind of the same sort of thing on the on the wheel a little bit. You want to be able to turn the wheel in little tiny movements to get that get to, to, to kind of shuffle step the, the the you know getting sideways if you understand what I'm talking about. Unless you're like if you're doing a small hairpins or just trying to initiate like th like you want to have the wheel kind of just going in little, in little tiny movements to kind of get it started right and, and unless you want to go for bigger stuff like you just want to go for a full send may maybe maybe keep it a little higher maybe keep it 50 i wouldn't go any higher than 50 though but i would lower it just a little bit just so you have a little bit more um a little bit more control when you go when you go into turns and stuff like that and uh, for force feedback, yeah. I, I have that set at a, a, fi a 50. Uh, I'm not keeping that ridiculously high. Uh, you know, I mean, there's no, there's really no need to. If you really want to, I mean, break your arms, why not? But I mean, it's up to you. But I like 50 is okay. So I'm at 45. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and remember this: every wheel is a little bit different. Uh, everybody's drifting style is a little bit different, and also you can also uh, make more adjustments to your car as well, because your car is going to have a lot to do with it, and uh, so is your drifting style is going to have a lot to do with it. So you gotta have to like play with your car, play with the wheel settings, play with your just just practice it out, try to find numbers that work. But this is for me; these numbers work for me uh, on a solid basis when I get to more most sports of games. Um, Again, if you guys have any questions for me, anything like that, I'll try to answer them in the comment box. Uh, but let's let's just quickly get sideways and um, quickly try 900 degree rotation, just with these settings that I have. So I'm in a 58 Plymouth Fury. Uh, I mean, you guys see me bring out this car uh, several times, and. Uh, it, yeah, even at Long Beach, man, I've, ta I've taken this thing around Long Beach, and you guys can check out the video for that. I've made the hairpin with this car, with this big of a car, on Long Beach. It's quite, it's quite cool. I mean, I I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you guys know me. I like drifting the big stuff. I like, I like stuff with a lot of weight, a lot of inertia, something that's got a lot of, a lot of body roll. I can able to maintain that drift. Uh, I have a lot of control with that drift because. Um, that by roll is gonna is gonna do most of the work. If I don't have much power, but I've got torque and I got body roll, I could just keep this thing sliding all day. I don't I don't really need to do much. I don't even need to pull the handbrake. All I gotta do is wiggle the body a little bit, weight transfer, and and then there you go, get sideways. He's even drifted a uh, he's even drifted a fucking limo. Yeah, I've drifted the limo. I've done even the the uh, the, the new uh, eight liter Bentley. On Forza Horizon 4, there's not a big car that I can't really handle to get sideways. Um, that being said, though, maybe the semi tanker. The semi tanker is a little weird. Like the truck is that truck is difficult. The Volvo, the Volvo Knight, that's a bit hard to drift because that's just simply because you can't really, like, you don't have you have race tires on it, so it's very grippy and it's very heavy, right? I mean, and it's not very loose either. It's very tight for for a truck. You can't even put the uh, angle kit on it, so. Yeah, that's right. Without the angle kit, the angle kit would do a lot. Would do a lot uh, to help it drift for sure. But this, this again, this is also a very, a very heavy car as well. But the suspension is really loose, so I could just wiggle that that body really easy, and get it sideways and have total control and not have to worry about this thing spinning out. Well, it will it will spin out on you if you're not careful, but you have to be able to give it the right amount of twitch to it. You gotta flick that body in a really special way to get to get it sideways. Ooh, about that tire rack. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna continue off to what I was talking about. That was my 10 minute mark, so I have to kind of blend it in. 
So uh, the numbers that I have right now, four to seven, they work for the most part. Um, again, it's just it's all going to be up to you and what kind of wheel you have. I mean, I know I have a basic TMX that can perform 900 degree rotation. So I'm on 900 right now. And it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little crazy. It's going to take a little bit more work. I mean, if you want to challenge yourself, 900 is where you need to be. But I can get the car sideways. I don't recommend straight 900. Try it 840 before you get to 900. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make it a quick another adjustment. So I gotta bring it back down to around 620 here. To what I'm uh, more accustomed to here. Oh, it's still okay. One second. It's still on 620. It was still on 620. Okay, let's try again on 900. Okay, so this is 900 now. It keeps, and that's another thing. Forza has not fixed yet. Oh, damn! It's all good. Yeah, I'm good. Try not to get any of us sent to the hospital during this. One thing I noticed with 900 is that you have to react much quicker. Your reaction has to be even faster than what you have in a lower rotation to counter steer. It has to be. You have to be ready. As soon as that car gets sideways, throw the throw the wheel in the opposite direction. Don't hesitate. Right? You gotta. You just gotta throw it. Have that handbrake ready. Have it. Have the brake ready, have the throttle ready. You gotta be ready to quick. We're just knowing where that wheel's gonna be. And try not to get your arms cut off in the process. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I've only broken my thumb 13 times playing this game. See, I'm able to maintain once I get the rhythm. Obviously, I, I find this game is once you get once you get out of rhythm, it's hard to get back into rhythm because you gotta find that sweet spot again. It, in comparison to the Forza Horizon, the Forza Horizon series, uh, when you drift, you can find the rhythm that you were drifting within a second. But in this game, you have to kind of. It takes a little bit of time because I don't know. It's just the just the way the way Forza Seven is. You gotta find that sweet spot. It takes a little longer to get back into rhythm after you spin out. You gotta when you spin out when you spin out of Forza Seven, you gotta complete. You have to stop. And you have to be it. Just restart yourself. You gotta just hit that, reapply the gas, and you have to find that little, you know, rotation of movement where you have control, right? Otherwise, you're gonna kiss the wall. Again, you will. Yeah, you'll probably kiss the wall, or you'll probably spin yourself out again. Or you kiss another bumper. <laughs> yeah. So I, as you can see, I am drifting around this massive 747 with a 1958 Plymouth Fury with very low horse, very low horsepower, and I'm able to maintain uh, a slide with ease and with great rhythm with the wheel settings that I have. And again, this, these wheel settings might necessarily work for you, but they work for me. And if I can get sideways with this wheel settings, I'm pretty sure somebody else can. It's definitely possible. The thing is, Forza is just at, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Just that I, I feel that Forza is adding more more layers of feel to the wheel, which is great, right? Adding more layers and more layers to play with to get the best custom, uh, um, you know, setting that will work for all players, right? No matter what you drift. Except for the tanker. Yeah, except for the except for the tanker, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, too much gas there. See that? As soon as you gotta be really careful with that. Oh and gotta run the hitboxes. Yep. Yeah the hit Yeah yeah you gotta find you gotta find where the hitbox is especially uh, especially when you're getting sideways, it sometimes can be a little closer, if not further away on cars. So if you're trying to get tandem, I notice sometimes, you know, it, it, it can be a little tricky. You might actually hit the guy, but, you know, you may not that, may, may not be that close, you know, at times. It just happens so fast, it's hard to notice. Ooh, full sand a little bit. And I stole my car. It's all right. Well, this is also brand new uh, paint that I made. Oh yeah, the DFI has been working real hard on his paints and liveries. Um, 
I know I've been away from Forts a little bit, not for too long, but I've been away from Forts a little bit. But I'm back again, recording. Uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be periods of time where I don't record Forza, but I will be recording Forza and I will be uploading. So don't you worry, there'll be more videos coming. But again, this video is just a, a nice, short and sweet. Maybe not short and sweet, but maybe shorter than my usual Forza sessions. Uh, just talking about briefly uh, about wheel settings because I know that. Uh, I'm noticing a bit of a, a popularity uh, of views that I've been seeing, uh, just me bringing up numbers that I use for the wheel settings, and, it, and I noticed it's, it's helped some people, so I, I want to continue to help people find those numbers in Forza with their wheel and see if I can help them out, you know, because I think we all just want to be on wheel, we, want, we all want to own a wheel on Forza and just get sideways, it's just nothing more satisfying than that on Forza, it's just to get sideways of the wheel. In your favorite car, right? Dude, it's, it's, that's, it's so peaceful. Out, but hey, you're gonna you're gonna get some muscle at least. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have a really good time at the end. Yeah. Quick shout out to the sponsors, which is just me, Team Door. Yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> I'm the sponsor at the moment. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna try to swing around this little section here. Are you going to the parking lot or are you going all the way across the map? I'm going to the parking lot here to see if I can kind of continue demoing the, uh, no. the, little, the little sections. No! See that? I have, I have great, I wouldn't say great control. Yeah, right there. I, I spoke too soon. <laughs> But I stopped myself from hitting the wall. But that being said, you guys see the way I entry into the entry into the turn, so you can kind of notice I'm just trying to wiggle the body. Notice that 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 weight transfer. I'm just trying to f make that weight tra like just go from one side to another to get this car to get sideways. That's all I'm trying to do is to wiggle it and use that and use that gas pedal and sometimes the emergency brake to save it. Right. Well, there you have it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me demo demoing out the uh, the brand new wheel settings on Forza. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just Forza trying to do more polish, more improvements. Right? They're obviously not done with Forza Seven, and they're obviously not done with Forza Horizon Four. Right? So they're gonna continue to try to perfect it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And if you guys read the articles about you know the next coming Forzas, it, they're, they're they're gonna be delaying the next Forza, and it's just because they're just trying to put more work into the game that they the current games that they have because they're spitting them out way too quickly and not putting enough work in the ones they have. Right? So. So, but, but I feel like they are doing, they are taking a step in the right direction here, and uh, they're definitely doing a great job. And I'm going to say continue on to improve Forza. It's a great game. I still love this game and always will. Always support the series. Um, and uh, that's about really it, really. So, uh, guys, have a good one. Take care. Remember, I'm your host, T70. Uh, leave a comment. Drop a like. See you guys next YouTube video. Take care. Ah.